often asked me, how can I feed my fussy eater? First thing I want people to know is that fussy eaters are perfectly normal. In fact, a lot of children are quite uh, nervous around new foods and that's normal behaviour. But what we can do is to help encourage them to try new foods in a positive way. So the first thing to try and remember is always look at food as a positive thing. There's no such thing as good or bad food. There's everyday and there's sometimes food. Focusing on those everyday foods is so important. So when it comes to those everyday foods, it's really important that we don't um, give children any negative experiences around those foods. And that includes things such as bribing or coercing children to consume foods that they're not quite ready to eat just yet. But what we can do is we can offer them foods in a variety of ways. So for instance, carrot. You know, you can have the carrot raw, or it could be cooked, it could be mashed, or it could be cut into circles or sticks, or it could be grated. So many different ways to offer that food. Still the same food, but it might be preferred in a certain way. So exposing children to food in different ways is really important. Also when introducing new foods, think about introducing a new food alongside something that children are already happy to eat. So it doesn't, and don't make a big deal about it. If they don't eat that food, that's okay. They are still exposed to it. It can take up to 15 times before a child will actually accept a new food. So 15 times of exposure on that plate in some form or another. The other thing that's really important is that we allow our children to eat to appetite. Some days children are going to eat a whole lot because they've been quite energetic, their, their metabolism is high, or they might be growing quite a lot and their appetite will be high. And then other days, they'll hardly eat anything at all. Again, that's perfectly normal. Encouraging children to eat everything on their plate is actually a harmful thing and it, and it, it leads them to becoming non-hungry eaters, which sets up problems later in life. And finally, the most important thing you can do is be a good role model. Don't expect your children to eat foods that you won't eat yourself and enjoy food together as a family. 